Hey guys, so today we're talking about tithing. So it's not a video about should we tithe or should we not tithe. It literally is how I tithe as a coach and a trainer and a service provider and a product business owner as well. I want to cut straight to it. I tithe everything. Okay. So the question really is, do you tithe your net income or your gross income? Like, what is it that you do? And so reason why I feel like this is um, a necessary conversation is just because when I was working my nine to five, like many moons ago, it was easy, right? It was easy. We get in, we get a monthly income, monthly money comes in, you know, I take 10% out and I pay that. Now, as a business owner, so this is my second full-time main business because my first business is a bit different as well because we were we were managing real estate with much like, you know, higher income coming in monthly and higher outgoings as well. And so when I was running that business, it was at that time I was so confused about, okay, how do we do this? I was like searching and researching and asking questions. Like, so do we tithe everything? If I tithe everything, how am I going to pay the landlords and the rent owners and all the big payments that need to go out? So I wasn't sure. So I ended up at that time paying net income before tax. Right? So I was not talking about tax, we're talking about after expenses. So when you have your income come in um, and then the main expenses. So in my first business, we would only tithe up because the Bible says tithe your increase. And so in my mind, I was like, well, we have to pay this expense and that expense and that expense. But if I'm honest with you, it was so fiddly. And I believe that God saw my heart at the time that it was like, I was trying to do the best I could by everybody. I was like, okay, Lord, um, how do we do this? And I just felt led at the time to do it that way, but I can't even lie. It was so messy. Here I am today, many years later, <laughs> I um, offer coaching, I offer training, I, offer, I sell products online. And so we get paid on a daily basis. So most of our expenses are systems that we use online, um, people that we pay to do certain things as well, right? And so we do have obviously have outgoings. But this time around, as I was really praying over this whole area once again, because I was kind of doing a similar thing in the beginning. However, I just felt um, convicted that I needed to really sit with the Lord about this and just really get clarity. And so I want to just give a shout out really to another YouTuber, Dunin Cut and Trim. When I was on my search, I found his video and he explained it in a really simple way. And I just thought, you know what, it makes so much sense. And it was his video really that actually helped me to come to the conclusion I have done so. And so I wanted to create this video because obviously he was from a different business and I'm, I'm in the uh, online training business, right? Slightly different. So the the way I do it now, as I've mentioned before, is literally, literally, quite literally, we tithe all of our income. So when money comes in on a daily basis, basically before our Stripe account, money comes in Monday to Friday through Stripe, I would take 10% and I would put it in another account for ready to pay out. What I would then do on the every single Friday, Friday's like my money day, Friday's money management, moving everything around. And so Monday, Friday, um, then I'll now pay. So every week we're paying tithe, but it's obviously every time money comes in on, de, on a red daily basis, I every single day, like clockwork, um, it comes in in the morning and I will just take 10% and put it into the tithe account in my bank account, right? And I've, and I've got this tithe account and then it just, all of it in one lump sum and I pay it on a Friday. But honestly, since I've been doing it that way, and yes, we still have, we have expenses and we have all these things but I just want I just feel as if the simplicity in doing that has opened doors for our business has blessed like I've been a full-time entrepreneur now for over 10 years and I could definitely say firstly God has never let us down and God has always provided our needs and what we needed but I feel like this season is a season of such enlargement and increase and I really do believe that this has something to do with it. And I don't think it's a bad thing if, you, if you're tithing after expenses. I'm not saying it's bad at all. I'm just saying I've seen the difference doing it this way. Like literally as money comes in, Lord, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, this is for you. And we just give it to the Lord and close our eyes and move on. Yes, we have expenses. Yes, we pay people. Yes, we do other things. So yes, some might, moms might say, well, actually, you're not doing it in a smart way. But what we've experienced financially since doing that has just been amazing. Like honestly, God has always been blessing our business anyway, but this particular season, I'm just seeing such um, another hand of God in terms of increase. So God does not need our money. Now also, you know, just ask the Lord, where do you tie that money? 
ideally it should be a local church or a ministry where they're using that money for the greater good, right? Just ask God. So God had given me instructions on exactly where to tithe my tithe. I've been doing that for a long time now. But here's the thing. It's not necessarily about, oh, if I give this amount of money, they're not going to use it wisely. It's about you and God. It's about my relationship with God and being able to just trust that, Lord, you know what? I want to thank you for all of this money that you've given to us. And I'm going to give it back to you and believe that this money is going to be used in a way that's going to bless other people. And even though we're probably paying more than our 10% of increase. So, you know, we have, you know, we're meant to pay our tithe on our increase, on what you money, on what money has on profit, really. So the Bible says that increase, what you've profited from, that's really, I, I think, logically what you could tithe on, right? And which is still honourable to God. However, doing it by your income, I believe, shows another level of faith is saying, God, you know what? I'm going to give you even more than my my profit, right? I'm going to give you more than my profit because I trust that the source I'm giving it to is fertile and that you're going to give back, you know, good measure, press down, shaking together and running over. And also I'm never unsure that I'm not giving enough, if that makes sense. And I just wanted to encourage anybody that is not sure on how to tie that's how we do it. That's how we've been led to do it for a long time now. And it's just been a blessing. Honestly, has been truly been a blessing. So I hope this blesses you if you've not been if you've not been sure about how to tithe or what do you tithe and just watch God move. If you want the scripture references for tithing or giving um, to God, thought I'd give it to you. Malachi 3.10, most people know that. Um, um, but also Proverbs chapter 3 verse 9, where he said we should honour the Lord with the fir- our first fruits, what comes in, we give it to the Lord and say, Lord, I just bless you. I'll tell you why it's important as well, because if our heart is so attached to our income, it's like we then make our money more of what we, we then worship money rather than worshiping God. So I believe God wants to see that. Can we give it away? Can we have more increase? And we've had a significant month last month in terms of an increase on income. And I looked at the figures, I'm like, oh my gosh, you're giving this amount. So we've given you know, four figures in tithe, right? Uh, because we've made five figures, right? I'm like, oh my gosh, like, and I say four figures, I mean like, you know, significant, <laughs> Right. I was like, Lord, like, thank you, Jesus, that we can give this amount of tithes. Like, it's such a blessing. But then, like, God wants to see that you're not going to just run out. You're not going to get, you're not, not going to, your heart's not going to be heavy because you've given so much money away, but your your heart is free. So I really believe it's all about your heart condition and your heart posture. So if you're giving grudgingly and you're doing it, that like, I don't, I don't believe God will bless that because he wants us to give cheerfully. To give cheerfully in your heart is to give by faith. And so when you give with a heart of, you know what, I just want to thank you that we actually have received this income. I want to thank you. I just thank you. And, we, and you give with that joy. And it's like, I believe God is looking for the heart that can give freely. And as you give freely, God will bless that giving because he can see the heart behind it. So now when we have 100k months, like giving 10k will be nothing because like I'm so, I've given like, you know, X amount of thousands in tithes. And I'm like, okay, Lord, this is how it feels. And so I just want to encourage you that it's a heart posture when giving and a test on your relationship with God, because whatever we own belongs to him. Don't let money, things and all the things that we have become an idol. So when we're able to freely give, I believe that tithing is an exercise for us, not for the church. It's for us. It's for us to be able to say, no, God, I give this to you. I bless you. I honor you. I worship you. With I have been able to um, build or what you've given me the... You have given me the energy and the strength to be able to build. So I just want to encourage that our giving to God, our giving to anybody should come from a place of of joy and thanksgiving. Because even if you give and your heart is grudging and it's really just, uh, it doesn't, you don't really want to give, but you just give as, oh, because God said I should give, I'm going to give. I don't believe God will bless that giving. I don't believe he will. I could be wrong. Let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments, what do you guys think about like your heart posture giving to the Lord? I believe he gives, you have to give with a joyful heart. So yeah, I finished, finished now. So I hope that blessed you. I'll see you in the next episode. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.